Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, we are given that two forces F1 and F2 act on the screw I. If their lines of actions are at an angle theta, so F1 and F2 are making angle theta with each other. And it is said that the magnitude of each force is equal to F, right? So F1 is equal to F and F2 is equal to F, right? So it is said that determine the magnitude of the resultant FR and the angle between FR and F1, right? So we have to find the resultant of F1 and F2 if both F1 and F2 have magnitude F and also we have to find the angle of the resultant with the F1 vector. Now we will apply the uh, head to tail rule of vector radiation, right? So what I will do is that I will draw this f1 vector right we will aid f1 and f2 right so the magnitude of f1 is also f so i will write f right so let's say that this is f2 and f2 magnitude is also equal to f right and let's say that this will be the resultant, the red one, right? So from the tail of the first to the head of the last, right? So this is the resultant. We can write that this is FR, right? So now if I extend this F vector, if we extend the line of action of this F vector, so as we can see that this angle is between the tail of F1 and the tail of F2, right? So this means that we are given this angle, right? This angle is theta. Right, so now uh, as we can see that let's say that this angle is beta. Now as we can see that this theta and beta, both of these angles are supplementary angles, right? So this means that theta plus beta equals to 180 degrees. So beta is equal to 180 degrees minus theta, right? So we can replace this beta by 180 degrees minus theta. Right, so first we have to find the magnitude of this FR, right? So we can apply the cosine's law. So we can write that FR square is equal to this F square plus this F square minus 2 into F into this F, right? So this will become 2F square and cause of the included angle between these two f's right between these two f's right so this is 180 minus theta now from this fr fr square equal to 2f square this is 2f square minus 2f square cause of 180 minus theta right so we can write that cause of 180 minus theta this is equal to cos of 180 cos of theta sine of 180 sine of theta right so sine of 180 is 0 so this term will become 0 and cos of 180 is minus 1 right so this will be minus 1 into cos of theta so this is minus cos of theta and this is 0 right so this means that cos of 180 minus theta is minus cos of theta right so we can write this is f r square equals to 2 f square uh, we can take 2 f square common from this right so this will be 1 minus cos of 180 minus theta and similarly 2 f square into 1 minus and this cos of 180 minus theta is minus cos of theta right so we can write that this is a minus cos of theta so from this we can write that f r square equals to 2 f square 1 plus cos of theta right and similarly if if i multiply and divide uh, this this term with 2 right so if i multiply and divide this term with 2 Right, so then we will have f r square 2 into 2. So this is 4 f square 1 plus cos of theta divided by 2. Since we want to find f r magnitude, so then we have to take the square root. So then f r will be equal to. So we will take the square root. So this will be 4 f square and square root 1 plus cos of theta divided by 2 right 
and so and from this fr so this will be 2f right and as we know that from half angle formula that is cos of theta divided by 2 is equal to 1 plus cos of theta divided by 2 under the square root right so this means that this whole term is equal to cos of theta divided by 2 right so this means that this is the resultant magnitude right in terms of f and theta now since we are asked to find the angle between fr and f1 right so this is this is that f1 right so we have to find this angle let's say that this angle is alpha so now again to find this angle we can apply the cosine's law again right so this time this is the in included angle between this f and this fr right so what we will do is that we will write this f square so i will write f square and this will be equal to this f square plus fr square so i will write fr square minus 2f into fr cause of the included angle right so this is alpha the angle in front of this f right this one right so this is cause of alpha right so from this we can write we can bring this f square and fr to the other side right so we can write this as f square minus f square minus fr square equals to minus 2 f fr cause of alpha so f minus f square so this will become zero right so this is zero so minus will be cancelled out and f one fr will be cancelled out right so now from this fr one fr equals to two f cos of alpha and similarly fr we know this fr right so this is we can write that this is two f cos of theta divided by two equals to two f cos of alpha so again this 2 and f will cancel out so cos of theta divided by 2 equals to cos of alpha so this means that this alpha is equal to this theta divided by 2 right so this alpha equals to theta divided by 2 so now this is the angle of the resultant with f1 right and this is the magnitude of that resultant right so this is the solution of this particular problem